Hello everyone. Um, just wanted to show you something here. Uh, I just replaced uh, two of my fluorescent lights with uh, LED style tubes. This is them up there. And this is what they are. As you can see, they only pull 15 watts per tube, which means instead of the, instead of those, that pull 40 watts per tube. I'm only now pulling 15 watts, which means that fixture is now only pulling 30 watts of power instead of 80. Which means I just cut cut my power usage in, oh, in more by more than a half. I just want to show you how this is how nice and bright this is over here with these tubes. Uh, I only bought one pack because I wanted to see if they would work with these fixtures. These are existing, these are all existing light fixtures. These two, two, these two still have the old fluorescent tubes in them. And if you notice, How that, that that one light over there is actually making that area brighter than this end where, where there's actually two fixtures. Like I said, these two are still running on the old tubes. I just bought one pack to uh, see if they would work with my fixtures. I didn't, didn't have to do any modifying. The ballasts are still in there or in these flight lights. Uh, these particular tubes are designed to be able to work as you can see there these ones work with the uh, existing electronic gate T8 ballasts but this is what they are As you can see, they're 48 inch daylight. They have a soft white, which would be, be more like a regular light bulb. Uh, the uh, soft white would be this be this color. As you can see, it's the, the yellowish light. That, that's the uh, spirally ener fluorescent energy saver. Uh, you can see this, it's just 15 watt, watt replacements. It has a life of 16 years. That's the lumens it puts out. When you buy them, if you don't want to have to replace, want them to work with your ballast, you've got to make sure it has this particular marking on it. You can see it's uh, mercury free, long life. And they're real easy to replace. You just take the old tubes out and put them in uh, and the reason why you want to make sure it has this marking on it is because they, they also have these tube these tubes are also uh, made in the way that uh, that they go into uh, fixtures like those that don't have uh, ballasts in them and th these lights here they do make kits so you can take the ballasts out, but they have a feature in them that, that a lot of these fi these fixtures like these is uh, they have uh, what's called like shunt shunted shunted plugs. They're the they're these things on the end here where the where they clip into. They're inside on the inside here. There's a there's a, a piece that jumps the two two pins that are in there. To make be able to set and power down the down the tube. So if you want want to go the route and replace the ballasts too, these don't even really get that hot either. And but you would actually have to either take these apart, cut the shunt out of them, or you have to replace those. 
but I just wanted to share with you how, how great these tubes are. See, now, um, I can't guarantee that these will work with all fixtures because uh, some fixtures have uh, different, oh, different specs. I mean, all the old fluorescent fixtures have ballast in them, but, uh, but they're, they work in different ways. But that's one of the reasons why I only bought one pack to see if they these would work in my uh, fixture. And as you can see, they do. And as you can see, it's way brighter than uh, what it was. And then that end over there with those tubes. Uh, I just thought that that's interesting and I just wanted to share that with you so if you're uh, someone that wants to be able to cut your power draw down now you can and uh, this is the result of ni how nice and bright in fact the, like I said the, you can see that it's even brighter over there than uh, than it was with the old tubes so if you if you have a question as to how how good these tubes are, this is the result. I highly recommend them, and uh, instead of the eighty watts that fixture was pulling, it is now only pulling thirty watts because that fifteen watts on there that's fifteen watts per tube. So I actually dropped my my power usage in this this fixture. By 40 watts, which is going to save me some energy when I use, when I have to use, when I use the basement lights. Uh, but LEDs really are the wave of the future. I have regular bulbs and some of my other fixtures and uh, LED bulbs and some of my other fixtures. This and uh, I'm actually really really pleased with. Uh, with how they look and those ones there are what what would be called the soft white which gives you the yellowish color of a regular light bulb uh, but yeah don't be afraid to buy these I mean they're great and and uh, you'll save even more money because you won't have to replace them as often as you do those other tubes so I just wanted to show you this and let you know what I thought of them. God bless.